Hey guys, I just came back from the theater maybe an hour ago. I watched the movie Men. I wanted it to ferment in my brain for a little bit, so now I'm reviewing it. Alex Garland is known for making more science fiction movies, made Ex Machina, Annihilation. He even wrote the movie 28 Days Later, which is safe to say at this point is a horror classic. A lot of people probably don't agree with that assessment. I think it's a horror classic just because of what it did for the zombie genre in the early 2000s. Before I jump into my thoughts and my interpretation of what this movie is, I just want to talk about Alex Garland's two previous directorial films. So Ex Machina, I remember when it came out, I was taking film classes and uh, the teacher wanted us to really watch Ex Machina because it's a very well told solid script and that's what i thought of ex machina a lot of people were head over heels for ex machina uh, i thought it just played out as a really effective episode of black mirror so it, i don't think it's as amazing as everyone claims it to be the effects are very beautiful obviously the cinematography uh, the performances by Domhnall gleason and oscar isaac i think it's probably one of oscar isaac's best performances to be honest so i really like ex machina Annihilation is where I think Alex Garland truly got to shine, which is a shame because Annihilation is also the movie in his catalog that bombed the hardest. Just because of the way it was released, it was so weird. I think like Paramount released it on Netflix at the same time as theaters and it, it, they just kind of bleeped it out, which is a shame because I think Annihilation is brilliant. It's a very terrifying movie. Uh, there's, I remember that bear scene where the bear's roar was kind of human. Ugh, that was eerie. And ultimately, it was a movie about cancer. You had a character in the film that was going through cancer, and that was kind of paralleled with this environment uh, that was constantly growing and getting mutated. It was a very well-told story, and I really liked that parallel between the human story and what was going on in the sci-fi elements. The movie actually reminded me a, a lot of just Tarkovsky in general. Just the group of scientists going to this unknown zone kind of reminded me of Solaris. And obviously there's a lot of parallels to Stalker as well in its plot. I thought the movie's brilliant. The music as well. I, I Every so often I find myself listening to that soundtrack again. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I'm not going to review Annihilation. I think it's... I think it's great. I love Annihilation a lot. If I had to give one flaw to Annihilation, however, is that its performances are very muted. I remember especially Jennifer Jason Lee in that movie just delivering every line of dialogue like this. And I was like, okay, let's kind of put some pizzazz in the dialogue here. Let's put some oomph in it. But other than that, I really like Annihilation. Annihilation, solid ass movie if you haven't seen Annihilation. Yeah, so I just wanted to give my thoughts on Garland's two previous movies to give some context into this one. What is Men about? I went into the theater blind. I had no clue what this movie was about. It's about a woman who's taking this vacation in the English countryside and she does this to get over the death of her ex-husband. And the plot kind of bounces between two eras, the era in which the relationship's crumbling, we go from that era uh, to the present where there's this weird kind of creepy thing going on. I don't want to say too much about the plot. Basically, the movie is not a sci-fi movie, I would say. It's not a sci-fi movie like Ex Machina or Annihilation. It's more of a home invasion body horror movie. It kind of had hints of something like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or something like Wicker Man 2 where you have just this creepy town and all the townsfolks are just a little bit off and you don't know what's kind of going on. This movie is a straight up horror movie so in case you're going into it as a Garland fan just keep in mind this isn't science fiction, it's horror. Uh, I'm gonna start with the positives, I'm a little mixed on the movie to be honest. Uh, I, I saw reviews of the movies just before recording this video and uh, the reviews are a little mixed and I find myself to be quite on the fence with this movie as well. But what I did like about the movie is contrary to Annihilation, I thought the performances in here were not as muted. Especially scenes where the woman is uh, going back and forth with her ex-husband, arguing. Those were very meaty scenes when it comes to performances. It's not like other Alex Garland movies where people are just deadpan delivery. I thought it was working in this movie, for the first half anyway. In the second half, I feel like Alex Garland falls back into those trappings of 
very boring muted dialogue being delivered. Obviously, as you would expect from Alex Garland, the look of the movie is very good. The music in this one I thought worked at some points, but other points I thought just got a little too distracting. Sometimes it would jump into operatic music, and uh, there's this uh, little riff of music that the character would sing, and it would always come into play as a motif throughout the story, and I thought that was distracting as well. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Like shit like that. Uh, if you saw the movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm sorry about my poor opera skills. And listen, this is, like I said, it's a home invasion body horror movie. And for the most part, the home invasion scares work and the body horror works especially. The end climax of this movie is what really people are going to talk about. I'm gonna spoil the movie now, so click away if you don't like spoilers, but basically the two hours of this movie, it's about two hours I would say, not too sure, but the whole time you're kind of like, what the fuck is going on? And the ending kind of ends with this weird kind of creepy monster alien that gives birth to like another person, that gives birth to another person, that gives birth to another person. Here's the thing, Alex Garland, he's not one for the exposition. Whenever you watch a movie like Annihilation, there's not too much explanation as to what is going on. Alex Garland is a person who's much more preoccupied with the human story rather than the logistics as to what is going on in this universe, which I thought worked for Annihilation, but I thought the explanation was way too thin in this story for me to give a shit as to what's going on. There's zero explanation as to why the people in this town are acting this way, so when that ending climax happens, you're just left saying, well, what the fuck was this all about? Like I said, Annihilation, you can kind of piece together what's going on. There's like this overall theme of cancer that's going on, and you can interpret what the ending means from the clues that were dropped throughout the movie. There's not not much exposition in Annihilation, but it doesn't fault the movie. In this movie, you kind of are just like, what is going on? What is the point of all this? And that was the big problem I had with this movie. Two hours is a long time to be like, what the fuck is going on? It's a long time. Okay, here's my interpretation of what's going on. Uh, there's some weird cult-like religion going on in this town. Uh, it, like I said, it kind of has some uh, resemblance to Wicker Man in that regard, but like I said, it doesn't spend any time at all explaining the mechanisms of this cult religion thing. The message of the movie is ultimately about toxic masculinity, from what I can gather. Your main protagonist is a woman, and she has this friend who she Skypes all the time, who's also a woman, and you have this police officer who helps her that's a woman. But every other character in this film is a man. Uh, you have this stalker, this naked stalker, who's a really weird creep. Uh, you have the abusive boyfriend, uh, who killed himself. Uh, you have a sex-craved vicar. You have a police officer as well that uh, kind of rejects everything that the protagonist uh, says. So all the male characters are kind of a scumbag in this movie, and all the female characters were pretty normal and empathetic. And then at the end, all of these male characters kind of have to go through <laughs> basically birth, which is a, a painful part of life that women feel that men don't have to feel. Thank God. <laughs> so all these characters that are very toxic to this protagonist ultimately go through an event that only women feel that's very painful. That's what I gathered. That's what I thought Alex Garland was trying to say. But I still find that message very thin and it doesn't really give any insight. As I was watching this movie, I kept getting that theme of toxic masculinity. I kept thinking to myself, this is a movie that would work really well with a female demographic because a lot of the horror that comes from this is men gaslighting women. And as a man, I don't really connect with that feeling as much as a woman. So I, I can't really judge it as fairly as maybe a woman would feel. But then again, I do feel like that message is just way too thin uh, in order for me to justify watching it. When I watch a movie that 
uh, is a slow burn like this movie. This movie is more of a slow burn. There's a lot of contemplative shots, a lot of uh, moments where you're just relishing in the atmosphere, what's going on. It just didn't give me enough to chew on. Uh, not enough meat on the bone. I think this is an A24 movie, and the last A24 movie I watched was After Yang with Colin Farrell. And that was a movie uh, that dealt with the theme of culture. And I feel like there was a lot there to digest, a lot there to discuss. You walk out of the theater saying, well, what is culture? And you can have a good discussion with your friends. Uh, and I don't see people doing that with this movie because A... The plot is just so alienating, you don't know what's going on on a surface level, so you don't really care as to what's going on. And then when you look at its subtext, I feel like its subtext is very thin and doesn't have much interesting to bring up. So that's the main problem I have with this movie. Overall thoughts, I think it's Garland's weakest movie by a long shot. Like I said, the message is a little too simplistic and Garland is no stranger to making room for character and putting the exposition aside, but I feel like this is the first one of his movies where it harmed the film. So uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on Men. Did you watch the movie? What did you think? Comment below, guys. I want to know what you guys thought. This is a really cool movie, uh, if we can get a dialogue down in the comment section. So I'll see you folks around.